Welcome to how to purchase altcoins, which is a shorter term for saying alternative coins, which means they are an alternative to Bitcoin, because Bitcoin is the granddaddy. So if you don't understand this terminology and why they're called altcoins, all that means is that they're an alternative to Bitcoin. So, so any coin that is not Bitcoin is an altcoin. Even though some people nowadays will beg to differ, well, Ethereum is not an altcoin, it's an old blockchain. Yeah, it is its own blockchain. But you still purchase pieces of that blockchain via coins and tokens. So, Ethereum. So, anything that's not Bitcoin is an altcoin to mostly everyone, especially people that have been in Bitcoin for years because <laughs> everything else came out after Bitcoin. So, what we're going to do is we're going to send money from our Bitcoin wallet to an exchange so that we can go ahead and purchase our coins. Now, this will work with any wallet. This will work with your Coinbase wallet. This will work with your Exodus wallet, your Jax wallet. Some of you may not be familiar with these wallets, but some of you may have coins in these wallets. So, in order to transfer, what I'm going to do is... I'm going to show you guys how to do it from Coinbase as well. Because a lot of you have Coinbase. Some of you might be making your very first purchases via Coinbase. So, two-step verification. If you guys don't know how to use Coinbase, check out my tutorials and other tutorials online about Coinbase and how to Use Coinbase or how to purchase Bitcoin for the very first time. That's all you have to look up. But I have a playlist that shows you how to use Coinbase and purchase uh, Ethereum, Bitcoin, or Litecoin for the first time. Okay. So, and now they're going to send an email, which is cool. Some people get uh, frustrated but it's definitely for our own security. <clears throat> Just consider it uh, online crypto's version of TSA. So I authorize. And we're in. Great prices. Ethereum just hit 360. You have to be kidding me. Oh, this is beautiful. I think I'm going to <laughs> just put my money in Ethereum for now. I'm holding some Ethereum on other wallets. So now, this is how much BTC I have. It was $10 because I received a referral bonus. And for those of you that don't know, you can. Uh, there's a way to get your referral code and have people sign up. If people sign up with your referral code, they get an extra $10. And you get an extra $10 if they purchase at least $100 the first time. If they purchase at least $100 worth of Bitcoin for the first time. I'm not sure if it applies to the other two coins. I don't know if it applies to Ethereum and Litecoin. But if you purchase, if someone uses your link and they purchase $100 worth of Bitcoin, they get an extra $10 worth of Bitcoin and you receive an extra $10 worth of Bitcoin. It's a way to help each other, you know? So... Let's say I want to send my Bitcoin out of Coinbase. You go to accounts. You would go to whichever account you want to send your coins from. In this case, we want to send from, we want to send some Bitcoin. And this is where you would enter the wallet address, always copy and paste. And always double check to make sure you pasted the correct address. There are, there's malware out there that will, you can copy the address. And when you go to paste it, it'll be a totally different address. And if you're not paying attention, you'll wind up sending your monies, your coins to someone else's wallet. So even after you paste it, after you paste it, you want to check. And make sure so this is how you would do it so what we're gonna do is 
we're going to go to one of our exchanges. You can go to Bitrix. You would have to go and create accounts at your favorite exchange or whatever exchange you want to use or whatever exchange you've been hearing about that's a good one and you want to try out. Um, Bitrix, Poloniex, and Cryptopia are some very popular ones at this moment. I personally like to use Cryptopia a lot for some reason. It's just Poloniex is like shopping at Walmart. Bitrix is like shopping at Target. And Cryptopia is just like going to shop at your local store where you feel more comfortable and everyone knows your name. <laughs> you know, I don't know why, but that's how Cryptopia feels to me. Again, some of the ones that I recommend are, it's poloniex.com. I'm going to show you how it's spelled and what it looks like. Okay. It's Poloniex. I already have an account, so I would just sign in. If you don't have an account, you would want to create an account. And the same goes for all the exchanges. You have to create your account. Now, I'm not going to go step by step on how to create an account. Um, there are other tutorials on how to do that. What I'm doing is showing you, once you have your account, how to transfer your money to an exchange and exchange your, your coins. Not money, your coins. So, for instance, and they're all basically the same process. All of them. So I'm going to show you Cryptopia, but this will apply for all of these. So, nine times out of ten, you always have to verify. So I'm just showing you a sign in. We're not going to use Poloniex in this tutorial, but I'm showing you. For Poloniex, if you want to find your address, your wallet address for that exchange, for instance, here are the coins on this side. You would find the coin that you're going to transfer. Always pay attention. Make sure you're not transferring Ethereum to a Bitcoin wallet or vice versa. If you're, I'm transferring Bitcoin, so I want to find Bitcoin. Make sure the ticker is the right one. It's Bitcoin. And then you would go to deposit. Okay, it's letting you know send only Bitcoin to this address. Any other currencies to this address may result in the loss of your deposit. And now show me the address. So you would copy and paste this. And go to your Coinbase. There. Go to Accounts. Send. Paste. Make sure it's right. Go back. 1A TV. Da, 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 da. And I usually look at the last ones. GYFT. It's right. It's not different. Bam. So everything's right. That's how much is in your wallet. So the amount of BTT, BC, BTC, I would want to send the max. You would click max. And then click continue. But that's for Poloniex. The same thing would be with Bitrix. We'll go ahead and show you in Bitrix. Hold on. So as you guys can see, as you will see, it's going to be the same process for just about all the exchanges. They're always going to tell you it's a new IP, but it's even though you log in for the same computer every day, it's going to tell you, oh, it's a new IP. So then you're going to click there to log in. Now we can log in. And I'm in. Now I'm on Bitrix, you go to your wallets. The way this is set up, it's a little different. I see my Bitcoin wallet here, but I'm going to show you if you wanted to find your Ethereum Classic wallet, you just type in ETC, 
There it is. You can find it. If I want my Bitcoin wallet, BTC, there it is. And then the plus and minus is here. So minus is to withdraw, plus is to deposit. TMP, what is that? What in the world is that? Okay, deposit Bitcoin. And there's the address. And you would do the same thing I just did with Polonius. Copy and paste it. Go to your Coinbase. Or if you wanted to send it from your BCC, we're going to do that with Cryptopia. So we'll see all that. So anyway, this is how you can get to your wallets. This is how you can acquire your addresses on Bitrix. Okay. So now I'm going to X out of these. It's always good to log out and all that good stuff. And close your browsers after you're done. Okay. So now I'm going to use Cryptopia. It's always going to do the same thing. I'm going to send you an email. There's my code. Log in. Paste it. And we're good to go. Now I'm in. See? So now, all this would just go to our balances. Because if you hit deposit, please select the currency you would like to deposit, blah, blah, blah. But I don't go through all that. I go to my balances because I like to check my wallets. All the balances is on Cryptopia are your wallets. That's what that is. Here, same thing like we did on Bitrix. Type in the wallet you want to access. It's my Bitcoin wallet. So, deposit. So, I'm going to get my deposit address. I'm going to copy that. And you would do the same thing with Coinbase. You would just put that address there. Hit send, all that good stuff. And again, if you missed it, you know, Coinbase, you go to accounts, you go to whichever wallet you want to send your coins from, you click send, enter the address to where you're going to send them to. Once you click in there, you can send the max or just type in however much you want to put in. And you go to the bottom and click continue. Down there. Okay, and then it's going to give you other messages to confirm and all that good stuff. But we're going to do it right now from BitConnect. Did I copy this yet? Do it again. Copy. Go to BitConnect. Okay. So now, when you're on the BitConnect platform, you want to go to your dashboard. Then you go down to the bottom to your Bitcoin wallet. See here? Let you know how much Bitcoin you have. This is the Bitcoin address I'm going to be sending to. We're going to double check that. 15SVGW DH7F. 15SVGW DH7F. Okay, it's about right. It looks right. Not about right. It looks right. Um, if you click on here, it'll populate all. Because this is minus the fee. They're going to take a small fee. Pay attention to the decimal points. There's more decimal points after here. But because these are all zeros, it's charging 0 0.004. So it's 0 0.006. So it's charging you 0 0.004. So it reduced my amount to that because they're taking out the fee. Enter your password, which is your password to log into BitConnect. Withdraw. Here we confirm. That's how much I'm taking out. And this is the address I'm sending it to. If you want to check again, just to make sure. And confirm. Voila. So now we just sent transferred Bitcoin from one wallet to an exchange. And again, you can do this with Coinbase or any other wallet. 
you can go to your transactions here okay now this is from your big connect wallet this is letting me know what I sold today your Bitcoin wallet this is letting you know that the transaction has gone through on BitConnect's end. If you ever want to view your transaction, you can always go to Block Bitcoin Block Explorer, BlockExplorer.com. You can copy and paste that transaction. I guess hit return and here it is that's how much they charged it's unconfirmed at the moment so it needs to be confirmed so this transaction may take a little bit so we'll be back but before that I want to show you let's see what's going on on Cryptopia's end Okay, it's not showing yet, but you will see here, once it actually touches Cryptopia, it will still need to be confirmed for it to be available. So it hasn't touched yet, but I will be back once it touches.